Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel Graphics10. So in this video in Corel Raw, I will show you how we can create some really cool shapes using the Smart Fill option. So let's get started. So Smart Fill option or Smart Fill tool is located over here. Now first see how does it work the Smart Fill tool. So I will create some shapes like this. Now. I will create some more shapes and using the line tool I will create some open shapes open shapes means it doesn't have any closing or the shape is rather closed not shape is rather open not closed like these shapes so we cannot feel colors in these shapes or these areas so if I select both the tools, both the shapes rather and use the smart fill tool then in the overlapped area we can create a entirely new shape like this. But, but firstly we need to select the shapes. Only then it will work like this. So without affecting the original shapes the smart fill tool will create new shapes like this. And as you can see it is creating shapes only in the overlapped areas uh, the areas where the shapes have intersected each other like this so if I click over here the smart fill tool will create a new shape without affecting the old shapes like this even if we use lines so basically we cannot feel the colors in these shapes because these are all open shapes but if we select these lines as well and use the smart fill tool we can create shapes like this only the lines need to be intersected they should intersect with each other only then it will work like this so as we have seen how the smart fill tool works then we can create some really cool shapes using basic options or basic steps simple steps so let's say if I use a square if I press and hold control key and if you are using Mac then command key then we can create a square and even if you are not able to create this using the command key or control key you can simply uh, make the height and width equal so it will be converted into a square now I will apply some roundness to the corners like this and I will keep the center of rotation or the axis of rotation at over here and I will rotate the shape using or pressing control key so that it will only rotate by 15 degrees. You can also do the same thing using the transform option. So go to window dockers and transform and let's say if I want to rotate it by 15 degrees then you can simply type 15 and apply. And make sure the axis of rotation or the center of rotation is at the center of the shape. So you can either use this technique or you can simply press Ctrl R like this. I will show you. Click, press and hold Ctrl or Command, and so so it will snapped. It will be snapped to 15 degrees because the setting is 15 degrees. We can also change the the angle that we want. That I will show you in some other video. But for now. It is set to 15 degrees so control and drag con press and hold control right click so it will be uh, duplicated then if I press control R or command R then it will be repeated the step will be repeated so now you can either use this docker transform docker or you can simply use the shortcut key whichever way you find it whichever way you find easier you can make it now once I select all the objects using the smart fill tool I will create a shape now these are multiple shapes for now but if I create all these shapes if I select all these shapes and use the weld option then the shape will be merged into each other now I want to 
keep this center of rotation exactly at this the center of this shape so i will press and keep it to or take it to the center like this center and if this these notations they are not appearing make sure that you have uh, checked alignment guides and dynamic guides so as you can see this is exactly at the center this is very important to keep it to the center because what we are going to do so it won't work unless you keep it to center so now i am going to place it over here and i will remove the outline by right clicking on this no color option and let's say if i apply some gradient color to this shape so i will use basic gradient so red color on one side and let's say yellow color on the other side so if i again press and hold control and right click then it will be rotated by 15 degrees and i'm pressing control r or command r if you are using mac so this is some really cool shape will be created again if i press and hold shift key and right click then we can create the shape and once you change the angle of the uh, rotation then you will get, get a different variation of the shape so let's say instead of 15 if i keep it to 30 degree then you will get a different shape like this so what if i want to create entirely different shape so i will take this shape i will press undo delete this let's say i will create this shape again i am keeping the center of rotation at the center of the shape then press and hold control right control right click to copy and control r or command r so a different variation of this shape will be created again i am using firstly we need to select all the shapes again i am using smart fill and create the shape again i am going to perform the same steps selecting the object now i am going to press shift or rather i can simply select all these objects and weld or rather i will click and hold shift button and weld interesting i'm just adding it so this is now a one shape as you can see again i am going to keep it to center right click and if i want the same gradient then i can simply use the gradient or interactive fill option and copy and click on any of the shape so the same gradient will be copied to the shape again control right click so this shape will be created like this so this is a different variation of shape as you can see and as you can see it is very easy to create these kind of shapes again i am going to select the same shape or group of shapes and using the smart fill tool again i am going to perform the same thing now instead of welding them i am going to color them differently so i will select them once again by pressing and holding shift and left click to select multiple objects and using the interactive fill interactive fill i am going to copy this gradient again 
so each shape will be created into a gradient again i'm going to select the center now i am going to select all these objects now remember these are all different objects so i'm going to select all these objects and group them you can also press ctrl g or command g now i'll need to make sure that it is the center is selected and make sure that only after creating these shapes into a group then only uh, select your center now i am going to move it and remove the outlines and again control right click so a really cool shape is now being created as you can see and let's say if i change the background so it will look even cooler if i select black color so this is how it looks so let's see if i want a darker shade you can always select darker shade so this is how it will look so as you can see using some simple steps and with the help of smart fill tool we can create some really cool shapes in corel draw so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers